this video we will learn how we can use cost legender quadrature method to solve the definite integrals this method is again a very powerful method in numerical analysis to approximate the values of the definite integrals now if we have to solve a definite integral of this form which has the limits of integration from minus 1 to plus 1 this can be approximated by the summation n is the number of sample points wi are the weights quadrature weights and xis are the roots of the legend polynomials or the abscissa so in order to solve the definite integral within the limits of integration minus 1 to plus 1 we can make use of this method if n is equal to 2 we call this as a two point quadrature formula for n equal to 3 this is called as a three point quadrature formula and so on not only this if we have to solve a definite integral whose limits of integration are not minus 1 and plus 1 but say these are the arbitrary limits we have to solve the integral from a to b of this particular function then in order to use the cost legender quadrature method what we do is that in the first step we make use of the transformation such that the limits of integration reduces to minus 1 to plus 1 and once we have this sort of an integral then we can make use of the cost legender quadrature method and we can approximate this integral to be the summation. Now, in order to change the limits of integration from a to b to minus 1 to plus 1, we make use of this transformation. So, by making use of this transformation, the limits of integration are changed to minus 1 to plus 1. And once we have this integral, then we can write this as a summation of two terms if we are using the two-point quadrature formula. And in the case of the cos legender quadrature method, the weights w1 and w2 are equal to 1 and the abscissa are 1 by square root of 3 and minus 1 by square root of 3. So these are again the standard values which we can get from the standard mathematical tables or from the internet. I have taken these values from the net and these are easily accessible. Now let us try to understand how we can make use of this cost legender quadrature method with the help of an example. Suppose we have to solve this integral and it has a limits of integration 0 and 1. Now in order to use the legender quadrature method, first step which we have to do is, we have to change the limits of integration to minus 1 to plus 1 by making use of this transformation. So over here, b is the upper limit, so it is 1 in our case, and a is the lower limit, it is 0 in our case for this particular example. So if we substitute the values of b and a over here in this expression, what we get is this. So x is equal to 1 by 2 plus u by 2. Now if we substitute this over here in this integral, this integral changes to u plus 1 by 2 into, in place of dx, we have to write down du by 2, which we can get from this equation. So this integral reduces to this, and finally we get the integral of this one. We can rewrite this in this form. And we can express it like the integral from minus 1 to plus 1 f u d. This is the standard form now. And we can make use of the gauss legendre quadrature approximation. And we can approximate this integral to be equal to this summation. And if we take n as 2, then the summation reduces to only the two terms over here. And we get this term over here. Where w1 and w2, as I told earlier, these are the weights. And they have the value 1 for the gauss legendre quadrature and u1 and u2 were 1 by square root 3 and minus 1 by square root of 3. So simply this expression becomes equal to this, where we have to evaluate the function at this abscissa and at this quadrature point. So now since our function is equal to u plus 1 by 4, if we evaluate this function at first quadrature point, this is what we'll get. And similarly, if we evaluate this function at the next quadrature point, minus 1 by square root of 3, this is what we'll get. And if we simplify it, what we get, we get answer as equal to 0.5. And since we have taken this simple example, if we solve it analytically, the exact value of this integral is also equal to 0.5. So this is how we can use the gauss legendre quadrature method to solve any definite integral. So now we will program this problem using Python. We will first define the function. And here we will return this x plus 1 by 4 because for this particular problem, the function fu is u plus 1 by 4. So in place of the variable u, we are taking 
uh, the variable x that doesn't make any difference so this function will return x plus 1 by 4 and now since we are using this for two point formula so the weights will be declared as a list which will be having two elements and the epsizer will be again having two elements in this list then n is the variable which will store the length of the w uh, the weights so for a two point formula since there are two elements in the list so, so n will be taking the value 2 for this particular case where the weights and epsizer have two elements for the two point formula now since we have to do the summation w1 uh, f1 plus w2 f2 for a two point formula so we'll be using this for loop and we'll be initializing the sum to zero first and then within the for loop uh, which will run from zero to one because n is equal to 2 for this particular case so sum will be equal to sum plus w1 f1 in the first iteration and then in the second iteration this sum will be storing the w1 f1 plus w2 f2 and then finally we are printing the value of the integral using the gauss legendre quadrature method so here if we run this program we see that the value of the integral is coming out to be 0.5 and we know that the exact value of this integral is 0.5 now let us run this program for a, a three-point formula then for that i'll comment these w's and x for the two-point formula and i'll uncomment i have already stored these values w and x in a list uh, so now here we see that uh, if we look at the w list then it has three elements in it and similarly for x so here and now since we are using a three-point formula then n will be taken as three and then again we are computing the w1 f1 plus w2 f2 plus w3 f3 using the for loop and then finally printing the value of the sum again if we run this program let us see what do we get so if we run this program we see that again we are getting the uh, value 0 0.5 which is uh, exactly equal to the theoretical value so you can run this program for uh, four point formula and five point formula and the only change which you have to do is you have to use the appropriate values for the weight set epsizer and these values are available on the net so in this video we have learned how we can uh, use the gauss legendre quadrature method and uh, how we can implement using python you can use this program for different problems and you can verify whether this quadrature method works or not